Good morning, and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference Service of Daily Prayer and Song. Today is Monday, May 11th, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful that you have joined us this morning. We are inviting you to join us online at our website at sdpconference.info and to receive text message updates from Proctor Conference by texting the letters SDPC to the number 84576. And this will automatically sign you up for, for text updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We promise to never share your information, never give your number away. We would just like to stay in touch via text. And for those without a smartphone or without internet access, please spread the word. You can share um, this daily prayer call. They can listen to it on the phone by dialing 909-318-7011. And now to our host, Reverend Mark Thompson. Let us pray. Lord, once again, we invoke your presence at this time as we confront this pandemic with our prayer demic. We invoke your presence to be with those who have outrun us to be with you. We invoke your presence for their loved ones. We invoke your presence for all of the sick. We ask you to abide with our houses of worship either as they all figure out what to do in this crisis. We invoke your presence to be amongst the medical staff, the frontline workers, the essential workers, dear Lord. We invoke your presence to be amongst the poor, the broken, the unemployed. We invoke your presence to be in the homes of those that are abused in the very homes where they are sheltering in place. We invoke your presence to be amongst those incarcerated so susceptible to this plague and virus. And we invoke your presence to be amongst those who have no homes, the homeless, dear Lord. Lord, we also invoke your presence to be with elected officials and leaders who are making decisions at this hour with regards to sheltering in place, with regards to our well-being, with regards to supplies, with regards to reopening the economy. And Lord, we also pray that you will send our ancestors to be here with us throughout this entire ordeal and have them remain. Bless this Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, her leadership, her organizers, her founders and trustees, and her general secretary, Dr. Alva Carruthers. Bless our musician today and bless our prayer warrior and preacher. Bless all who have gathered here today. Come by here, Lord, come by here. Oh Lord, come by here. It is on our ancestors' shoulders and in Jesus' name we pray. Ashe and amen. Good morning, one and all. We greet you in the Zulu language of South Africa, Saubona. We see you, we respect you, we value you. You are important to us. Hope everyone had a beautiful weekend. And for all the mothers especially, hope that you had a beautiful Mother's Day weekend, as a matter of fact. God bless all of the mothers. Uh, once again, as always, we are blessed to have with us our minister, our resident minister of music, Eli Wilson, Jr. Jesus, the center of my joy, all that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart my contentment, hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. When I've lost my direction, the compass for my way, you're the fire and light. Nights are long and cold. In sadness, you are the laughter that shatters all my fears when I'm all alone. And 
Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Eli Wilson. It is my privilege and honor now to introduce our prayer warrior for this morning. He is known and has been known as the Dean and Professor of Theology at the Samuel DeWitt Proctor School of Theology at Virginia Union University and a senior pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church in Beaver Dam, Virginia, but he is also known as the preacher's preacher and the pastor's pastor. Please welcome now the Reverend Dr. John Kenny, Dean Kenny, hear ye him. Let us pray. Gracious creator, you who are the womb of all creation, in this moment, we glorify you and thank you for the enduring manifestation of your investment in creation, evidence in the rays of the rising sun and the melodies of the morning birds. We celebrate and affirm your amazing grace that has breathed life into all creation and creatures and for your immeasurable love that transcends the narrow limits of religion, culture, and geographical location. We glorify you not only for what you do, but who you are. In your being, you cannot be defined or confined by the controlling powers and categories of structures of this world. Your being incessantly tugs us beyond the absolutes of our reality and calls us into new visions, new being, and new worlds. As we draw closer to you, and as we stand in the light of your truth <clears throat> and your presence, we confirm that we through omission and commission 
have been conspirators in the maintenance of structures and institutions that violate your design and desire for creation. Forgive us for being seduced by comfort, conspicuous com consumption, and the excesses around us. Even as we <clears throat> honor our commitment to justice and the struggle for, for freedom, we often find ourselves mimicking the methods, models, and discourse of those who are blind, ignorant, and malicious investors in injustice. We confess that we sometimes construct our own institutions and religious bodies in a fashion that affirms and adopts so-called best practices that are metered by the metrics of alienated consciousness and the principles of a fragmented community. In other words, we allow the brokenness to define how we practice our ministry of healing. While we stand against the disease, we still seek status in the sickness. God, we pray now that you would just forgive those of us who are called to be your servants. When we mouth, elevate, and endorse the powers of evil for our own comfort and promotion, often making victims through manipulation and deception of those who are being victimized. God, we need you. We stretch our hands to you, another help we know. And as we confess, we lay before you our cares. God, we pray for our state, local, and national leaders and pray for their wisdom and their guidance, and God, where necessary, we pray for their conviction and correction. God, we pray for those to rediscover the heart of the, their souls and the courage of their commitments as they have been reduced to sycophantic endorsement of the powers of evil. God, we pray for the uh, unfed, the malnourished, and we pray for the strength and the wisdom to transform structures where people are hungry in a land of plenty. God, we pray for the safety and strength of our first responders, our nurses and doctors, but God, we pray for all of our first responders, parents, community crusaders. God, we pray for all of those who are invested in bringing to fulfillment that which you desire for all of your world. God, we pray for people of color, brown and black, women and poor, who continue to be victimized by a justice system that has never been just. God, we come against the violence perpetrated by those who are so traumatized by their experience that they have embraced self-negation and self-hatred and give evidence to their uh, hatred of self by killing brothers and sisters, by physically and emotionally battering partners in life and abandoning and abusing our children. We pray for the vulnerable, the homeless, the infirm, the isolated, the lonely, the sick, the broken. We pray for families. We pray for those who are incarcerated justly and unjustly. And we pray that in our existence, we may be presences that offer peace, promise, and provision and guide them not only to see the ground, but to see the glory, not the dirt, but the destiny. God, we commit ourselves this day to be partners with you in purpose and foster the realization of the fulfillment of your reign in your world and in the cosmos. Oh God, may we honor you such that heaven resources, not because we have entered heaven, but because we have embodied heaven on this earth. We surrender to you 
All to thee we freely give, not surrender to passivity and defeat, but we surrender to our empowerment, our authenticity, our courage. We surrender the center of our consent so that we may maximize the gift of our humanity and the possibility in our world. As our eyes see the glory, may we be so imbued that the future, with the future that you promised, that we pro proleptically participate in the promise and what will be becomes is because we are. May our existence evidence and embody the future in the way that we walk now, right now, when we talk about you got shoes and I got shoes right now. Can we put shoes on bare feet? Right now, when we talk about, we're gonna sit down at a welcome table and never get hungry, can we feed the hungry right now? When we talk about that the wicked will cease from troubling right now, can we stop being so mean and put an end to the wicked? Right now, when we talk about there's plenty good room in the creator's kingdom, can we put a roof over somebody's head right now? When we talk about in the future, we'll wipe the, he'll wipe away our tears. Can we dry some weeping eyes right now? God, may this moment call us to such faith that the will be is and thy kingdom come and thy will is done. God, we lift this prayer. In the name of the light that cannot be extinguished and the light that we do not comprehend, right now, we pray and say, Ashe, amen. Ashe and amen. Dean Kenny, with our prayer this morning. Thank you, Dean Kenny. God bless you for that fervent prayer. We surrender all. We will now hear... Once again, from our Minister of Music, Eli Wilson, Jr. Amen. Once again, we invite you to go to Eli Wilson Jr. dot com. That's Eli Wilson Jr. dot com. Reverend Tiana Webb. Thank you. We just wanted to remind you that we are inviting you all to stay in touch with the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference via text. 
please text the letters SDPC to the number 84576 and we will never share or give your information away. We would just like to stay connected. And for those without a smartphone or internet access, please share the word. You can listen to this daily prayer service at 12 p.m. CST in 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing 909-318-7011. And that's at noon and at 8.30 Central Standard Time. And we also finally wanted to remind you that as we face this pandemic, it is important to remember that the census is about quality health care. Census data is used to determine what communities get resources to build quality hospitals and get access to health care. So if you have not done so yet, please complete the census by going online to my2020census.gov or dialing 844-330-2020. Remember to count yourselves and to count your young children when you are filling out the census because we matter. Thank you, Reverend Thompson. Thank you. Reverend Webb, thank you again, Dean Kenny. Thank you again, Eli Wilson. If all minds are clear, but you Lord sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. You will arise and have compassion on Zion for it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For you, Lord, will rebuild Zion and appear in your glory. You will respond to the prayer of the destitute. You will not despise our plea. God, we ask you to receive in the cradle of your arms those who have already passed from this terrible corona. Please comfort and strengthen their loved ones with the assurance that the one you sent will bear their burdens and faithfully bring forth justice. Guide us to empty their tombs and resurrect those who have died by continuing our own freedom fighting to change the conditions which cause their deaths. As we leave each other to go about our respective days, Lord, you are our refuge. Let the ancestors linger to guard our doors and render impassable our very thresholds to this evil plague and virus. We are more than Corona because we are more than conquerors. Thank you for Dean John Kinney today. Thank you for our Minister of Music, Eli Wilson Jr. And now to you who are able to keep us from falling at all times, but especially now in this pestilence and who are able to make us to stand healed from illness, grief and fear in the presence of your glory with rejoicing to you, our only God, our savior through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power and authority before all time, now and forever. More and the people of God said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. A special greeting to our sheep of other foes, to our Muslim sisters and brothers, Ramadan and Mubarak. To all of you, have a beautiful day. We'll see you back here on tomorrow morning. God bless you.